Welcome to the class of 2020 Senior Achievement Awards. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the National Anthem to be sung by Senior David Griffith. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that a flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, David, for that beautiful rendition of our national anthem this evening. Tonight, in support of our seniors, we welcome and recognize and thank our district supporters, Dr. Donna Desiato, Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Thomas Neville Dean, Deputy Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Douglas Mohorder, Executive Director of Employee Engagement and Accountability. Mr. Shane Hacker, Executive Director of Curriculum, Learning and Assessment. Mrs. Michelle Geip, Director of Teaching and Learning. Mrs. Kate Skein, Executive Director of School Business Administration. Mr. Kieran O'Connor, Director of Planning, Development and Technology. We thank our Board of Education for their support. Mrs. Debbie Collid, President. Mr. D. Paul Waltz, Vice President. Mrs. Lori Aird. Mr. John Albanese. Mrs. Susan Kane. Mrs. Tracy Callahan. Mrs. Leah Cushing. Mrs. Kay Gallery. And Mrs. D. Seaman. My administrative leadership team, assistant principals, Ms. Killens. Mrs. Trevison as, as our associate principal, and Mrs. Crystal Ward as, a, as another assistant. Mr. Adam Shatraw, coordinator of the Early College High School, and Mrs. Randy Ludwig, coordinator for college and career readiness. This evening, we honor our exceptional seniors for their academic achievements, and many will be rewarded with scholarships for their outstanding accomplishments. The senior year, is the culmination of 13 years of hard work, during which time you have faced many difficult situations, starting with getting on the school bus at age five to transitioning to Pine Grove Middle School, and then your final move to Central High School, but not really a final move. You have had many trials and tribulations along the way, some with success, some with errors, but you faced each and every single trial with the, help, with the help and support of your family, friends, and your teachers. I want to congratulate you on developing the, these skills necessary to achieve this level of success through high school. The challenges at the next level will not be easy, nor will they have the same level of support that you have experienced at ESM. Your goal will be able to determine how to set reachable, attainable goals that are realistic 
and built upon your previous successes and goals. Seniors, you can be whatever you choose to be. Set personal goals for yourselves and set a plan to achieve those goals. At the end of the day, when you lay your head down on top of your pillow, do it with pride and accomplishments, knowing that you have met and exceeded the challenges doing your best. Seniors, congratulations on your many awards and your recognitions tonight. And always remember, as I said, to set those girl goals, achieve them, and if there is ever a bump in the road, make a plan to go around it and find your success. Congratulations, class of 2020. At this time, I would like to introduce our Master of Ceremonies, Mr. Adam Shetroff, to begin the awards presentation. Good evening, and thank you all for virtually attending this special event. Congratulations to all of our outstanding members of the senior class of 2020. After tonight's ceremony, programs listing the winners of all awards will be delivered to the students' home along with their award scholarship certificates. As a school, we value the quality of all of our academic subjects as well as the exceptional work that our students produce each year. We will be giving out an award in each subject area to students who are dedicated, always go beyond the normal requirements, and set high expectations for themselves. The students we honor tonight consistently contribute to a positive classroom atmosphere through their intellectual curiosity and team approach to learning. Our faculty is proud to present these awards. The first department in our program will be art. Our academic art awards for art. Mr. Bakta is presenting his award for AP Art History to Giselle Richmond. <laughs> Mr. Sincata is presenting his award for AP Portfolio Preparation to Jocelyn Sanders. <laughs> Ms. Heller presents her award for Advanced Media Arts to Gabriel Kelsey, her award for Advanced Media Arts to to Sage Hill, and her award for Studio in Media Arts slash Studio in Digital Photography to Grace Stone. <laughs> Mrs. Zimmer presents her award for Advanced Studio in Clay 2 to Jacob Longo. <laughs> Our academic awards for business. Mr. Anzalone is giving his award for Principles of Business Management Ownership to Meadow Dodge, and his award for Principles of Business Management Retail to Javon Thomas. <laughs> Mr. Anzalone and Mrs. Baker are giving their combined award for Retail Management One to Christopher Bailey, and their award for Retail Management Two to Hunter Borkowski. Mrs. Baker is giving her award for Career Exploration Internship Program to Haris Mahik and her award for Web Design One to Laquan Hunter. <laughs> Mrs. Corbett presents her awards for Business Communications to Kylie Bachman, Spreadsheet Management to Daniel Sitnik, SUNY OCC Networking Fundamentals to Michael Cox, and SUNY OCC Routing and Switching Essentials to Michael Cox. <laughs> Mrs. Depart is giving her award for Career Exploration to Allison Laviola, and her award for Career Builder to Brett Jeffrey. <laughs> Mrs. Mock is presenting her awards for Banking and Finance to Joseph Kopp and Supa Accounting to Dennis Slater. <laughs> Mr. Mussolino is presenting his award for SUNY OCC Introduction to Business to Emily Millett. <laughs> the Academic Awards for English. Mrs. Baker and Mr. Stalick and Ms. Welch present their awards for Yearbook One to Jack Walters and Yearbook Two to Sarah Gordon. Mr. DeFino presents his Graphic Novels in Literature Award 
to Giselle Richmond, and Creative Writing Award to Thomas Van Beveren. <laughs> Mrs. Hillowa is giving her award for English 12, the Senior Capstone Experience, to Jocelyn Sanders. <laughs> Mrs. Kirchhoff presents her award for Creative Writing to Holden Belge, her award for English 12 to Christina Baxter, and her award for Young Adult Novel to Giselle Richmond. <laughs> Mrs. McDougall presents her award for English 12, the Senior Capstone Experience, to Jeremy Kohler. <laughs> Mr. McSweeney is giving his award for English 12 to Angelina Dodge, and his award for Journalism 1 to Sophie Hartz, and his award for public speaking to Christopher Bailey. <laughs> Mrs. Ritter is giving her award for ENL ELA to Masanobu Nishimura. <laughs> Mr. Russo is presenting his award for college prep English to Michael Cox. <laughs> Mr. Twitchell is giving his award for English 12 to Gabriel Cohn. Ms. Van Beveren presents her award for AP English Literature and Composition to Dennis Slater, and Mr. Ward is giving his award for College Prep English to Vanessa Stanley. Our academic awards for Family and Consumer Science. Mrs. Karochi is giving her award for SUNY OCC Early Childhood Education and Introduction to Sarah Borden. Mrs. Kyber presents her award for food and nutrition to Edin Osmanovich. Our academic awards for math. Ms. Henrich is giving her award for advanced topics with Algebra 2 to Jessica Hess. Mr. Perino gives his award for AP Statistics to Michael Cox. And his award for SUNY OCC Exploring Statistics to Mackenzie Decker. <laughs> Mrs. Shug is presenting her award for SUNY OCC Pre-Calculus to Trisha Solanke. <laughs> and Mrs. Shatro presents her award for AP Calculus to Michael Cox. <laughs> Our academic awards in music. Mr. Akenauer and Mr. Flock present their award for Wind Ensemble Combo to Christian Rogers Romeo. <laughs> Mrs. DeBurgess presents her award for AP Music Theory to Julia Paz, her award for Chorale to Sophie Hartz, her award for Chorale Combo to David Griffith, and her award for Music, Literature, and Style to Jack Walters. Physical Education Awards. The Physical Education staff is giving their awards for Physical Education 12 to Sean Belcher, Hunter Borkowski, Sophie Hartz, and Sage Hill. <laughs> Mr. Tribal Peace is giving his award for Adaptive Physical Education to Gabriel Cohn. And Mrs. Vollmer and Mr. Smith are presenting their award for Physical Education Excel to Madison Sage. in the area of science. Mr. Harrington is giving his award for environmental science to Victoria Pachos. Mr. McGlynn is presenting his award for forensic science to Kevin Post. And his award for super, super biology to Christian Rogers Romeo. Mr. Stalick is presenting his anatomy and physiology award to Dory Carandy and his Forensic Science Award to Madison Kukarski. Our Social Studies Academic Awards. Mr. Mark Carr's Award for Participation in Government Law Studies is given to Sarah Borden. Mrs. DeSantis presents her awards for ep economics to Christian Rogers Romeo. Mrs. Grathwall is presenting her award for participation in government law studies to
to Almadina Vujic and her SUPA Public Affairs Award to Michael Cox. Mr. Hawthorne is giving his award for sociology to Christopher Eschbacher. Mrs. McPeak is awarding her economics award to Gabriel Cohn and also her participation in government law studies award to Gabriel Cohn. Mr. Richmond is giving his award for economics to Gabriella Spoto and his award for SUPA economics to Megan Bowles. And now, for our academic awards in technology, Mr. Beckley presents his award for auto technology applications to Casey McGlynn. Mr. Ferris is presenting his award for SUNY OCC Introduction to Mass Media Communications to Tobias Heathler, and his award for television history to Vanessa Stanley. Mr. Ferris and Mr. McSweeney are giving their award for TV News 4 to Jack Walters. Mrs. Kyber is presenting her award for Culinary Arts 1 to Taylor Alfreds, and her award for Culinary Arts 2 to Ian Gorman. Mrs. Planty's award for Cosmetology 2 goes to Francesca Riccio. Ms. Schwendy's award for Construction Tech 2 goes to Thomas Van Beveren. Our academic awards for world languages. Dr. Busick is giving his award for SUNY Latin 5 to Lucas Ingalls. Mrs. Casey Kelleher is awarding her SUNY French 5 award to Christian Rogers Romeo. Mrs. Perla gives her award for SUNY Italian 5 to Gianna Quantz. And Mrs. Wilson presents her award for SUNY Spanish 5 to Victoria Bondarenko. This completes our academic awards. Our next category is for service and club awards. Advisors of extracurricular clubs and organizations recognize students for significant contributions. The Art Club. Mr. Bakta is giving his award to Jocelyn Sanders. Jocelyn has been an excellent art club president this year, showing the qualities of dedication, creativity, and leadership. Mr. Beckley would like to give his Automotive Technology Club Award to Jessica Hess for her dedication and devotion to the club. For the past three years, Jessica has assumed the critical role of treasurer, spending countless hours on all the necessary tasks. Jessica symbolizes everything Spartan Pride is and can be. Mr. Anselone is giving his award for DECA to Meadow Dodge. Meadow has demonstrated great leadership skills as DECA president and created a positive experience for each DECA member. Mrs. Casey Kelleher is giving the award for French Club to Christian Rogers Romeo. Christian goes above and beyond sharing his love of French and Francophone culture with the ESM community. Bravo. Mrs. Kyber would like to honor Ian Gorman with the Future Chefs Club Award. Ian has served as president and treasurer of the Future Chefs Club, as well as a treasurer of ESM Skills USA chapter and National Technical Honor Society. He has demonstrated loyalty, honesty, and integrity in all that he has done for the organizations. Italian Club. Mrs. Perla is recognizing Mackenzie Decker for her service to the Italian Club. Mackenzie has been an active member, leader, planner, volunteer, and organizer of the club since the eighth grade. As vice president and president, she has planned out all of the meetings and attended almost every event. Mr. Ackenauer would like to give an award to Nick Berg as Jazz Ensemble Member of the Year. The Mock Trial Award is presented by Mr. Richmond to Jessica Carhart. Jess Jessica's perseverance and courage with this year's trial was an inspiration to the entire team. Best of luck in the future endeavors, Jessica. 
Model United Nations. Mrs. DiOrio has selected Andrew Crone for this award. Andrew has embraced the ideals of the Model United Nations organization and always picked the most challenging committees in which to participate. <laughs> National Honor Society advisors, Mrs. Fulner and Mrs. Van Beveren, would like to give this award to Irma Perkich. Irma is receiving this award for demonstrating the true spirit of strength, generosity, and service. Thank you for being an inspiration to us all. Spartan Garage. The Spartan Garage Booster Club would like to recognize the following students for their service to the club. Angelina Dodge, Carlos Godinez, Logan Grivelding, Nicholas Gross, Jessica Hess, Casey McGlynn, Mirnez Osmanovic. Each year, the Spartan Garage Booster Club sets aside funds from the proceeds of the previous year's raffle. These funds are to be awarded to seniors enrolled in the Automotive Technology Program to encourage the advancement within their chosen career. These students have shown an outstanding dedication to the Auto Tech Program and will be awarded up to $2,000 each once all requirements have been fulfilled at the conclusion of the raffle of the 1969 Ford Mustang Mach 1 this July 19th. Mr. Brandon is giving his award for Spartan Stage and would like to recognize Taylor Abrams. Taylor's behind the scenes commitment and dedication to every aspect of the production and as president of Spartan Stage made the magic on stage possible. The Varsity Masterminds Team Award is given by Mr. Kissling to Christian Rogers Romeo. A three year starter, Christian captained the varsity squad which tied the league in victories during the 2019-2020 season. The World Language Honor Society. Mrs. Rivers is recognizing Christian Rogers Romeo with this award. Christian has served as the World Language Honor Society president during the 2019-2020 school year, and his appreciation of language and culture has been evident through his leadership and continued involvement. Merci, Christian. Mrs. Baker, Mr. Stalick, and Ms. Welch would like to give the yearbook award to Sarah Borden. As the 2020 Editor-in-Chief, Sarah mentored new staff, ran meetings, and kept the book organized. Sarah helped to produce the first ESM yearbook awarded Columbia University Press Association's prestigious Silver Crown. The Youth Development and Leadership Club, with advisors Mrs. Chalinski and Mrs. West would like to recognize Mackenzie Decker as our outstanding senior this year. Mackenzie joined YDL last year and has emerged as one of the most dependable, creative, and hardworking seniors in the club. She always has the best interest of all students and community members in mind in all of her actions. She is truly O oh for outstanding. Let's have a round of applause for all of our service and club award winners. Until we sing again, may our days be filled with hope. May the long and winding road be paved with peace. Until we sing again, in the stillness of the night, may the Spirit always find a melody.
special awards, our valedictorian and salutatorian. The valedictorian and salutatorian are those students who rank first and second in their graduating class. These rankings represent an incredible amount of hard work and dedication. Achievement at this level takes not only intellectual prowess, but amazing motivation and determination. The accomplishments of these two students should be applauded by us all. Our 2020 salutatorian is Michael Cox, and our valedictorian is Megan Poles. The remainder of our program this evening will focus on awards and scholarships given from a number of various community, state, and national organizations that recognize our students each year. The All the Worlds a Stage Theater Scholarship is presented to David Griffith. This scholarship has been established by Mrs. Maureen Natale, a former theater teacher and member of the New York State Theater Education Association, and is awarded annually to a graduating senior who will be pur pursuing the performing arts in college. David will be attending the Eastman School of Music to study vocal performance. The American Association of Teachers of French Scholarship is being awarded to Christian Rogers Romeo. Christian was selected by the association for truly demonstrating his excellence in French and his passion for the language. Art Club Scholarships. Presented by the Art Department faculty to Elizabeth Henson, Jessica Kingston, Jacob Longo, and Giselle Richmond. These annual scholarships are made possible through fundraising that the Art Club does and are awarded to students who display great leadership qualities, a strong work ethic, and dedication to their craft. The Austin Elmore Memorial Scholarships are awarded tonight to Sage Hill, Gabriel Kelsey, and Jocelyn Sanders. These scholarships were established to honor the life and legacy of a dearly loved son, brother, grandson, friend, student, and artist. Austin was a sweet, enthusiastic young man with a love of life, an infectious laugh, a kind heart, and a beautiful soul. He brought joy to many lives in his short time with us. The scholarship in his memory is awarded to these students who share Austin's passion, work ethic, and talent for art. The Bristol Myers Squibb Science Scholarships are given tonight to Victoria Bondarenko, Madison Good, Casey McGlynn, Christian Rogers Romeo, and Megan Bowles. These awards are made possible by a grant from Bristol Myers Squibb to be awarded to students pursuing a career in the field of science. The Carlton B. Simon Memorial Scholarship is presented by Mr. Clark to Julia Barnwell, by Mr. White to Gabriel Kelsey, by Mrs. Riley to Joseph Pacheco, by Mr. Robinson to Victoria Pachos, and by Mrs. Kogan to Daniel Sitnik. 
These awards are given by the estate of Carlton B. Simon in memory of Mr. Simon, a former science teacher. The Sidney Caruso Memorial Scholarship is presented tonight to Amina Kasimovic. Cindy Caruso was a devoted wife, mother, and resident of Kirkville. She was devoted to animals, spending over 25 years working in local veterinary hospitals and doing wildlife rehabilitation. Cindy was kind to everyone she met, and she gave much of herself to her family, friends, and clients. The Veterinary Medical Center of CNY wishes to support Cindy's legacy through this scholarship in the hopes that the recipient will honor her memory by working as hard and contributing as much to our society through their work as Cindy did through hers. The Clinton and Lillian Dodd Siegfried Scholarship is given by their family and presented to Jalen Short. This scholarship is awarded to a student pursuing studies in education, science, social work, or other helping professions. The Dr. Harold and Evelyn Platts Memorial Scholarship is presented to Megan Schufelt and is given by their family in their memory. It is awarded to a student pursuing a career in the medical field. The Dr. Santo M. DeFino Excellence in Science Scholarship is being presented tonight to Victoria Bondarenko. Dr. DeFino is a hematologist oncologist in the area who recently retired after 40 years in practice. His dedication to his patients and the community around him has made him one of the top physicians in the country. Dr. DeFino's practice, Hematology Oncology Associates of CNY, located here in East Syracuse, has partnered with his son Lenny, an English teacher here at the high school, to honor Dr. DeFino's contributions with a scholarship in his name. This award is given to a deserving senior at ESM that has plans to pursue a career in medicine or the sciences. The East Syracuse Elementary PTO Scholarship is presented to former East Syracuse Elementary student, Mads Nielsen. The Eves Ambulance Scholarships are given to students who live within the Eves Ambulance Coverage Region and are presented tonight to Gianna Quantz and Gabriella Esposito. The Elizabeth Betty Comito Scholarship is given by Mr. Avellino in memory of his grandmother to Lance Vedana. This scholarship is awarded to a senior who embodies the spirit of family, happiness, and encouragement. Betty was an awesome grandmother who loved and encouraged all of her grandchildren to be the very best they could be to continue on a path to success. The ESM Band Booster Scholarships are donated by the Booster Club to Sarah Gordon, Tobias Beekler, Logan Grivelding, Catherine Kirkgasser, and Dennis Slater. The East Syracuse Manoa Band Booster Organization was established in 1978 and for over 40 years have provided support for thousands of students and the activities of the East Syracuse Manoa Spartan Marching Band. Winter Guards, and Winter Percussion Ensemble. The ESM Band Boosters are proud to present scholarships to these students. The ESM Class of 2020 scholarships are awarded tonight to Zachary Christian and Connor Garland. The ESM Class of 2021 scholarship is awarded to Meadow Dodge. The ESM Class of 2022 scholarship is given to Michael Brecklaw. And the ESM Class of 2023 scholarship is awarded to Michael Cox. The ESM College Fair scholarships are awarded this year to Abigail Landry, Alec Liverulo, Ava Panaritis, Nolan Silzer, Tyler Tallarico, and Jordan Winans. 
The ESM National Honor Society Scholarships are selected by Mrs. Van Beveren and Mrs. Fulner and are awarded to Victoria Von Dorenko, Mackenzie Decker, and Grace Stone. These Honor Society members have shown exceptional leadership and service to school and community. We thank them for their time and dedication. The ESM School Related Professional Scholarships are presented to Ava Panaritis and Victoria Recor. These awards are given to the children of the SRP Association members. The ESM Student Council Scholarship is presented tonight to Meadow Dodge and Victoria Recor. Meadow and Victoria have both worked tirelessly to encourage school pride and spirit through all the, activ all the activities and leadership opportunities opportunities afforded through Student Council. The ESM Teaching Assistance Scholarships are donated by the ESM Teaching Assistance Union. These include the following scholarships. The Scholarship for Community Connections, which is being presented to Almadina Mujic. The Early Childhood Educator Scholarship is presented to Margaret Lance. The Park Hill Pre-K Pride Scholarships, which are presented to Aiden Tedesco and Jessica Vollmer. And the Scholarship for Perseverance, presented to Jessica Hess and Jack Walters. The ESM Transportation Department Scholarships are donated by Transportation Department employees and are awarded tonight to Patrick Carr and Logan Gravelding. These scholarships are presented to students who will continue their education in the field of carpentry and mechanical repair. The ESM United Teachers Union Scholarships are given by the Teachers Union and are presented to Jillian McGinley and Jack Malali. These scholarships are made possible through donations collected by the Union at various district event events throughout the year. The Fly Road School Scholarships are being awarded to Jacob Longo, Lauren Postma, Jessica Vollmer, and Jack Walters. This scholarship was founded in 1967 when District No. 4 residents took proceeds from the sale of the old school building and established a fund with a $25,000 principal. It has now generated over $82,000 in scholarships. The Fremont Elementary PTO Scholarships are presented tonight to former Fremont students Lauren Miller and Kevin Post. Fremont Elementary Staff Scholarship is given from funds collected by the staff at Fremont Elementary and is presented to former Fremont student Elizabeth Henson. The Gibbs Flock Character of Excellence Scholarship is presented to Katherine Kirkgasser. The Gibbs Flock Character of Excellence Scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior based on character. The scholarship is awarded to a student who has demonstrated compassion and acceptance of others and who shows extraordinary potential for making positive influences in their school and community in the future. The intention of the scholarship award is to be a reflection of the character and the selfless giving that Gibbs Flock has shared with the ESM Spartans in his 30 plus years of service to the marching band, ESM students, and their community. The Gregory and George Hutko Memorial Scholarship is presented to Sean Felcher. This scholarship is given in memory of Greg Hutko and his father George, who is Greg's biggest fan. Sean exemplifies true sportsmanship. The Har Schmitz Excellence in Public Speaking Award is presented tonight to Griffin Evans. The Frederick and Cornelia Haar and Celestine Schmitz Award is given to honor the memory of Mr. Haar's parents and uncle and is presented to the public speaking student who best exemplifies the qualities of courage, initiative, and perseverance. Mr. Haar was a drama and public speaking teacher at ESM who sadly passed away earlier this year. The Haler Fryer and Kuhn James A. Stoddard Jr. Scholarship is being presented to Harez Mahik. 
the Heeman Street Superior Effort Scholarship is presented to Riley Reese. This scholarship is given in honor of Ms. Rhoda Sykes, a kindergarten teacher at Heeman Street for 30 years. The Henry T. Santulli Memorial Scholarships are given by the Santulli family and awarded tonight to Andrew Crone and Aaron Stoner. Henry Santulli was a former ESM high school principal and counselor. He was devoted to his students, his staff, and his family, and was a role model for all educators. After he passed away, the scholarships in his name were initiated. The James Van Dusen Memorial Scholarship is given by his family and friends in memory of James, a 1979 ESM graduate, and is presented to Madison Sage. The Julie Bray Memorial Scholarship is presented this year to Irma Perkich. The Julie Bray Memorial Scholarship was, was created in memory of Julie Bray, a longtime resident of the East Syracuse community. Her husband, sons, and many family members are alumni of ESM. In 2016, at 51 years old, Julie left this world after a short battle with lung cancer. The Julie A. Bray Foundation was established in her honor in order to continue to carry on her legacy. On behalf of the foundation, it is our honor to award this scholarship to a student who personifies the best quality of Julie, kindness, generosity, community-mindedness, mind and love. The Justin Crew Memorial Scholarships are presented tonight to Nicholas Berg and Allison Stefanovich. This scholarship was established by family and friends to honor the memory of Justin, who would have graduated with the class of 2011. Justin was an organ donor and a former member of the track team. The Kara McDougall Memorial Scholarship is awarded this evening to Dory Carandy. The Kara McDougall Scholarship is given in memory of Kara, a member of the class of 2010, and is awarded to a student who exemplifies Kara's school spirit, drive, and leadership. The Laura Ann Bitterman Memorial Scholarship is presented to Amber Franklin. The Lincourt Community Band Scholarship is given to a student who intends on furthering their musical studies in college. This year's scholarship is presented to Aaron Stoner. The Mark S. Rowland Memorial Scholarship is given by his family in memory of Mark, a 1981 ESM graduate who went into the field of social work and is presented to Abigail Landry. The Mary Dunn Houston Memorial Scholarship is presented to Grace Moran. Mr. Dominic Tassone Jr., one of four organ donor recipients of Mary, established the scholarship in her honor. Mary was an early childhood education student and an ESM graduate. The Melinda Grivelding Rhodes Memorial Scholarship is presented to Victoria Recor. This scholarship is given through the generosity of the ESM Sports Boosters. The Michael Parziali Memorial Scholarships are presented to Daniel Caruso and David Griffith. These awards are presented to students who share Mike's love of history. Mike Parziali loved teaching history and spent 36 years here at ESM dedicating his life to his students and family. 2020 marks the 10th year of this scholarship in his honor. The Michael Sturley Valedictorian Prize is given by the Sturley family and is awarded to the highest ranking senior presented tonight to our class of 2020 valedictorian, Megan Bowles. The Mid-York Color Guard Circuit Scholarship. Each year, the Mid-York Color Guard Circuit awards four scholarships to deserving seniors at their annual championship show. This year's ESM recipient is Sarah Borden. The Manoa Elementary PTO Scholarships are made possible through the generosity of the Manoa PTO and are awarded tonight to former Manoa Elementary students, Isabella Picard 
and Joshua Gilkey. The New York State Field Band Conference Scholarship is presented tonight to Dennis Slater. Each year, the conference awards one scholarship to a deserving senior from each member band. This award is given to a student worthy of recognition for leadership, music ability, and dedication. The New York State Scholarships for Academic Excellence are being awarded tonight to Andrew Crone, Sophie Hartz, Catherine Kirkgasser, Zachary Millett, Christian Rogers Romeo, Tyler Tallarico, and Megan Bowles. These students have been awarded scholarships for academic excellence by the State Education Department, providing financial aid for full-time study in accredited programs in New York State schools and are renewable for four years of study. The Pam Quigley Memorial Scholarship, given by family and friends, is presented to Sarah Borden. Pam was a social studies teacher and assistant principal at Pine Grove Middle School for 33 years. Pam's favorite saying was, social is life. The Patricia A. Tom Memorial Scholarship is being awarded to Mary Cyril. This scholarship is given by family and friends in memory of Patricia Tom, a former teacher at Manoa, Fremont, and Heman Street schools. The Peter C. Schuyler Scholarship is given by Nortrip Lodge number 998 to Marissa Knoebel. The Pine Grove Middle School PTO Scholarships are awarded to former Pine Grove students, Jeremy Kohler and Nora Reed. The Pine Grove Middle School Student Council Scholarship is awarded to Nicholas Gross. The Randy Paselli Memorial Scholarship is presented to Tobias Fiekler. The Richard J. Donovan Memorial Scholarship is presented to Christopher Eschbacher. The Richard J. Donovan Memorial Scholarship was recently established to honor the life and legacy of former Manoa Mayor Dick Donovan. The recipient of this award possesses many of Dick's best qualities, a thoughtful, caring individual who is a team player with a love of learning, someone who sees the worth of every person and is a positive pre presence in the lives of others. They have a history of community involvement and experience with the SURF program at ESM. The Robert J. Hart Memorial Scholarship is given in memory of Robert, a former student at ESM who loved football and was an active member of the Auto Tech program. This year's recipient is Angelina Dodge. The Roxy Ridal Memorial Scholarship is presented to Lucas Ingalls. This award is given by friends, colleagues, and family in memory of Roxy Ridal, who was a science teacher at Pine Grove Middle School for many years. The Sherlock Family Memorial Scholarship is given by the family each year to a worthy senior based on academic performance and volunteerism. It is presented tonight to Spencer Caramana. The Spartan Awards for Mathematical Excellence are given by the ESM Math Department to Michael Cox and Tricia Solanke. This award is given to the graduating seniors who have taken either four or five years of high school math and have demonstrated outstanding achievement in mathematics. Trisha is being awarded for four years and Michael for five with the highest average in math. <laughs> Student Credit Union Spartan Branch Scholarships are presented by the Core Federal Credit Union to Christopher Bailey and Owen White. These awards are given by Core Federal Credit Union to seniors who participated in the Student Run Credit Union Project. The Terrence W. McCarthy Memorial Scholarship is presented to Casey Hinton. This scholarship is donated annually by the fam family to a senior who is pursuing a career in a business-related field. The Thomas Yano Memorial Scholarship is given by his wife and daughters and is presented tonight to Jessica Carhart. Tom served as a school counselor at ESM for 15 years and later became the Director of Counseling Services. 
as a counselor, it was Tom's goal to encourage his students to challenge themselves and maximize their potential, think a little bigger, and reach a little higher. The Walter Bazidlow Memorial Scholarships are being awarded to Joseph Kopp and Owen White. These scholarships are given by Core Federal Credit Union in memory of Walter Bazidlow, founding member and first manager of the credit union. The William Clubco Memorial Scholarship is given in memory of Mr. Clubco and is presented to Caitlin Finnerson. The Woodland Elementary PTO scholarships are presented to former Woodland Elementary students. This year's recipients are Michael Neshi and Angelina Thomason. The World Language Career Scholarship. This scholarship is presented this year to Christian Rogers Romeo. Let's have one last round of applause for all of our academic award, service award, club award, and scholarship winners. Thank you. And I will now turn the program back over to Mr. Avalon. In closing, we want to thank and honor the many students and all of the award recipients, as well as all of the award donors and scholarships for tonight's ceremony. We want to thank Mr. Shatra, who did an amazing job, our faculty who have guided you. The awards committee, Mrs. Lindsay Kogan, Mrs. Randy Ludwig, Mrs. Jennifer Kirchhoff, Mrs. Lamphere, Mrs. Stroh, and Mr. White. Before we end this evening, I'd like to recognize the top 10 students of the class of 2020 in alphabetical order. Michael, Michael Cox, Cox. David, David Griffith, Griffith. Sophie, Sophie Hartz, Hartz. Sage, Sage Hill, Hill. Christian, Christian Rogers, Rogers Romeo, Romeo. Jocelyn, Jocelyn Sanders, Sanders. Daniel Sitnik, Dennis Slater, Tyler Tallarico, Megan Voltz.